Today we are going to see how to create user forms in uh, Excel and uh, save the data in Access Database. I just uh, opened one Excel sheet and saved as Macro Enable Docbook. And now I'm going to create one user form. For that, you can click Developer tab and Visual Basic button, or you can click Alt F11 button also. Here you can see the project uh, details sheet one and this workbook only is there. I'm going to insert on user form. Like that you need to insert. Go to insert and click the user form. Here you can see the user form design page. Okay. Here now I'm going to create one label. Now I am going to create one label and along with text boxes and another label and another text boxes and one command button. Okay, I am going to change the name as uh, label name as name. Here you can see caption heading there. Here only you can able to change the name of the label and if you click that it will show the caption details and I am going to save it as name and age. Here you no need to edit anything that is the text box uh, simply called it, it is an input box we can enter here and uh, it will be saved in access database. For command button, I am going to the name as submit button. Uh, this is a simple user form I am just creating for a demo purpose. Are you guys clear on uh, what I am what I have done? If anyone is having any clarification, how I opened, how I taken any clarification please let me know I will explain the next step is we need to show this uh, user form right when you are opening excel that for that we need to create one uh, code insert a module and here uh, sub user form user form one dot show this is the code to open that uh, created user form if i run that it will open like this once you uh, shown this uh, user form you are going to uh, enter some details here for like uh, satya and any age 32 something uh, you are going to enter here then if you click the submit button it will be show it will be saved in access database that is the code we are going to create okay now i am going to close it and create a code for uh, saving the data in access database for that just click the submit button double click on submit button in designer page user form designer page in between that command button click uh, uh, name you are going to enter the code for uh, submit button uh, actions for that um, um for before uh, entering the code you need to create one access database i already created an access database uh, now i will create new one also new access database here user uh, form just I given user form and I open that and I'm going to create one table create table here you can name it as I don't want any unique key in this I'm going to design this page I'm going to name it as db1 and here I don't want any primary key and deleting this and I am entering as name 
and changing the data type as short text and uh, second uh, data is age and uh, this is we can give it as number or short text also you can give it it won't give any error we can give it i created uh, two uh, column names and uh, name and age then right click is on data sheet field if you view that uh, name and the age will be uh, created one column so column details will be created now uh, i'm going to create the code part for saving the data here type dim connection i'm creating a variable connection as new connection your same name no needed uh, just i'm uh, short cutting this con connection means connection dim con as a new connection and second is i'm going to give as uh, i'm here you, you are uh, seeing some two input values right uh, name and age i am creating a variable for that also dim name value as string dim age value as integer okay before opening that you can enter as uh, option explicit whenever you are giving option explicit you must declare the variable okay then uh, and we are uh, uh, the path also we need right that uh, access database path that is also we are creating some uh, variable in str query as string and this is the important standard code for uh, connections type it as constant string connect equal to provider equal to microsoft dot ace dot oledb object linking embedded database point dot or twelve point zero and colon and uh, double quote and you can double quote data source equal to the path of this excel this is a db semicolon double quote this is the common code for connecting with the access database uh, you must remember that this is the constant code that won't change it for anything and this is used for connecting with access database and we need to execute uh, uh, enable the connection and uh, execute the query right we are going to insert some value in the access database database right for that uh, we need to uh, type some more code so i will type it connection we created one uh, one variable right con connection dot open str connect means string connect means this is the string connect the path it, it, this code will open the this access database and connect in uh, connect with access database and uh, this is the main code name value equal to we created one user form right uh, 
user form one dot text box one dot value it means when you are typing the name in that user form right uh, when you are uh, here uh, you are typing means if i am typing any name here this is the user form one here this text box one this is the text box one user form one dot text box one dot value means whatever you are typing here that will be stored in that variable second thing is age value equal to user form one dot text box two dot value it means whatever you are typing in text box two that is age data that will be stored in this age value variable and the final very important query is we are inserting the data into access database for that we need to type one query str query string query string query equal to with a double quote type insert into db1 db1 means i created one db1 table here right that is i mentioned here insert into db1 table open bracket here i have created a name column and age column heading is most important i am entering that heading here name comma age close bracket and the values for the name and the age we are entering some values using the variable right that we need to enter here values you can double quote and uh, unsymbol double quote open bracket and single quote and double quote and uh, type name value name value and symbol same we need to close here double quote and single quote then comma another is another one is uh, page value right copy it and paste here and change the name it as name as age value that's it and here we can give uh, each and for each and every variables we need to give the space for it that's it space is the issue and uh, just whenever you are entering give the proper space for run symbol and we need to execute this query right for that just type it as connection dot uh, execute str query string query and finally once you inserted uh, in data from uh, text box to access database uh, you need you need to empty that uh, user form uh, uh, whatever you are entered right for that just type it as uh, user form one dot value equal to say just give this empty uh, data if you enter this empty data it will clear the data from that uh, text boxes okay now we can type and then uh, run it before that i am going to create one uh, button user form okay just i'm creating one simple button here to open that uh, user form right click it and assign macro as user form and 
you can click it at this workbook then you can able to see that user form only otherwise it will show all the macros which we have opened excel now i am going to click that i'm going to enter my name is uh, satyan 32 and i'm going to click it connection as user defined the type is not defined connection as new connection okay so user defined type okay i think we need to add some more references here to connect with it our active x data objects also we need to add We will check here. We will close and uh, reopen it. It will be there. Yeah, here you can see my name and uh, age value. I entered in that user form that is stored in the backend access database. Okay, this is the simple uh, user form and uh, front end and uh, backend uh, storage. I think I'm done with uh, today's class.